So, first thing, I have a problem with the letter Z. Because the, the letter Z. No, I mean the letter Z. <laughs> Do we want to talk about pronunciation of words, or...? Sure. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Well, you just said... Apart from zebra and I zebra. can't think of anything. I can't think of anything <laughs> at all. Herbs. Herbs? Yeah, herbs. With an H. So how about aluminium? Aluminum? Yeah, aluminium. Mm. Exactly. So one difference you may notice between the way that we speak is the vowel sounds are a little bit different, and also if you're English, you like to drop the R's at the end of syllables. For example, the word car, it's a car. Yeah, I'd call it a car. Oh, I see, you're putting an extra R on, are you? It's like car, car? Car. Car. Once you come home for the day, you might park your car in the garage. I would park my car in the drive, I don't have a garage. <laughs> um, but if I did, it would be a garage. Bath. How bath? would you say bath? Bath. Bath. You see, north of England they'd say bath as well. Huh. So you'd say bath. Maybe I should move there. We'd say bath. I think American English is very logical and very simple. So when you're on a street and you're walking on the side of it, you're walking on the sidewalk. Whereas we have pavement, so you're walking on the pavement. Guys, what about pants? Pants. Pants. Uh, pants. Yes. <laughs> if you ever come to the United Kingdom, don't ask them one what they think about your pants. For me, that's completely normal. For me, that would be a little <laughs> bit inappropriate. For us, pants means underwear, not trousers. Trousers is trousers. Trousers pants. is something that my grandmother would say. We don't use that word. You just got, you guys like to say more words than we do. Ooh, we like our words. <laughs> our words are lovely. Mm.